What's up, gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best locations so that you could shiny hunt some amazing psychic Pokemon. A lot of you have requested psychic, so here we go. We're going to be doing psychic. Let's get into the video. Before we go further into the video, I want to mention a few of these psychic Pokemon that aren't going to be used with the psychic sandwich. The first one is going to be Armorouge. You can only get this via Charcadet, and for that, we use a fire sandwich. The other one that we use a fire sandwich for is going to be Oricorio, and by having a fire sandwich, sandwich and getting this Oricorio, you're then going to be able to get an item called the Pink Nectar and be able to transform it into a Psychic Oricorio. So that's also going to be in our fire video. And the final one is Gallade. Gallade is not going to be as easy to spawn with the Psychic Sandwich. So the best one to use is going to be the Fighting Sandwich. And you're going to want to go to Zapapico West in order to do this and do some town spawns of going in and out. And you'll see a bunch of Gallade spawning over there. You can find out more about that in the Fighting video. Now let's move on with all the Psychic Pokemon in this video. Okay, so for the Psychic Sandwich, all I'm going to be doing here is grabbing one onion and two salty herba mysticas. Of course, there are other recipes for the psychic sandwich, but for the sake of the video, I like when you guys comment them down below. So you can show me what sandwiches you're making if you don't want to use the salty herba mystica, but I'm just going to slap these onions and uh, yeah, it's going to make my mind go crazy just having onions on a sandwich. So that might be the reason why this is the psychic sandwich. And you'll be getting Sparkling Power Psychic Level 3, Tidal Power Psychic Level 3 for those nice marks, and Encounter Power Psychic to get them all to spawn in one spot. All right, so for this hunt, we're going to be looking at Espeons. Now, Espeons a fun Pokemon to hunt because I do love going after Evolutions. I think they're like my favorite thing to find in the wild when we don't have to day skip. And for this part, you're going to be going towards Medali and then going straight this way towards this bridge area. And you're going to see tons, tons of Espeons just walking around here now Espeon is a daytime spawn so if you're coming here at nighttime it might not be easy to find your Espeons so when you are hunting your Espeons you're gonna be looking for a nice green shiny that's that's what a shiny is gonna be and the best method that you can do probably for these Espeons since they group a lot in this area are probably going to be picnic resets picnic resets are probably gonna be your safest bet to go because it'll despawn out all those Pokemon you get out your picnic and then it will start to show up again now I know some people don't like picnic resetting it bothers them if they feel like it takes too much time no worries if you feel that is the problem here you can simply just cross this bridge have them all despawn out castle royal lake you are in and then re-enter into west province area three again and you'll have your espions all show up once again on your map so they'll just pop in and you can just repeat that over and over again from the lakeside again and again as you want to get your shiny espion and that'll be the way for you to do it so bridge pretty much spawn everything out which is what we just did and then we turn around and by the way uh if you do cross the side you get slow pokes again because they spawn all over castle royal lake so uh if you want to do it you know a run through a slow pokes and come back and see if you have espions that's also an option and yeah uh, that's pretty much all you're going to do in order to hunt these espions before we go further i know a lot of you are watching these videos but you're not hitting that subscribe button can you just do me a favor real quick and hit that subscribe button you get a lot of shiny luck too if you subscribe okay thanks let's keep going with the video all right, so this is where we're going to be hunting for giraffe ring. You want to come to Porto Marinada, and we're going to be looking for the shiny one. Now, there's two things that you can do. I know some people are already going to be thinking of this. One is, yeah, you could bop down this hill a little bit and try a town reset and look for that giraffe ring with the nice blue features, because that's what it's shiny is going to be. So you could go to the town. There you go. Get a Porto Marinada reset and then walk up a bit. You can do that. I'm personally not a fan of this method, as I noticed I don't get too many crazy spawns when I do that. So what I prefer is from the at Pokemon station, and when I do spawn in, I just like to walk, zoom out on my map and just walk and look around all around you. Don't go too fast because they're not family spawns. They're just single spawns that go around. And it's the only psychic Pokemon that should be bothering you and showing up when you do walk this path. And what I like doing is pretty much just go all the way towards Lake Casaroya. I'm just going to follow this pathway from there. That's it. I'm simply just going to keep looking around, waiting for for that shiny to happen to spawn again the features are going to be blue on it so we're gonna be looking for blue nose that's like the key defining feature and blue spikes on its back and the blue hooves that is what's going to be able to tell so i'm i continue just to walk all that way down towards the bridge uh, again you don't have to do the full walk like me but i like doing this little walk i happen to get shinies like this when i when i come down this pathway it's it's, it's nice and relaxing you know taking the game walk up to that area see what i could get and then once i reach the beach area i uh, 
uh, I'm then going to just simply turn around and then head back towards my location again. Because if you cross that little bridge, you're going to start to see a bunch of slow poke starting to show up. And you don't want to kind of ruin your nice solo hunt or your isolated psychic hunt away from the giraffe rig. So just do that over and over again. And you should be having a shiny giraffe rig and evolve it into the new evolution. Should be easy. Good luck. All right, gamers, the next spot that we're going to be talking about is going to be for Gothorita. This is going to be in the map of Alfernada, and I like to go to this corner specifically of the town for the sake of, hey, if I jump back in, I get a town respawn for no reason, just like that. And then we can go right back into South Province Area 6, and you can see all the Pokemon around me, and you can start to check for the shiny. Now, here is the shiny and what it looks like on screen, so that when you do notice it, you will notice it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to be shiny hunting for Gotharita, and it's the best way to go for its evolution line when it comes to this Pokemon. If you want to do a solo hunt for Bronzongs when you have the Psychic Sandwich on, yeah, this is a very, very good spot, as you can see. I just, I literally literally just teleported here and there are a bunch around me head over to the teleport spot in glaciato mountain and you will be greeted by tons and tons of bronzongs everywhere they're just everywhere all over this mountain look at these guys and the shiny one's going to be a nice green looking one so the more that you get spawning around you the better it is because you'll be able to get your shiny a lot faster and this is probably a very powerful spot so just despawn a bunch out check behind you before you move forward make sure the green one's not there oh my do you see this? This is incredible. Yeah, you're bound to get a shiny up here. I don't even doubt you guys will get this in like 10 minutes. There's some of you guys who watch these videos. And as soon as you see it, you're like, yep, I got it in like two minutes and I got five of them. So some of you are cracked out on shiny luck. So yeah, you just despawn, respawn out groups of Bronzong and you should be having a shiny one pretty quick in this area. So enjoy this hunt. This is the way to solo hunt it instead of going to the ruins. And uh, yeah, it should be good. This is a big one that everyone wanted to get from the psychic hunts. This is going to be for Hat Tina. And this is going to be in this area right over here, South Province Area 4. So left of your house in this little area right here. So you can see a bunch of lakes here. You'll notice Hatinas are going to be spawning all around these little lake areas. And if you're looking for the shiny, it's just going to be a nice bright white colored little hat walking around. And you can see how many there are here. Now, when it comes to these, the best bet you can do is only picnic reset and just despawning and respawning and just traveling around the area until they reset and come back. So that's a, that's a pretty good option you can do like just completely set out a bunch of them like that right they all reset then i head back to the same spot or you can just do picnic method and you're gonna just kind of explore this area go back and forth until you do happen to get your shiny but this is a highly requested shiny pokemon that a lot of people did want so this is your hot spot that you're gonna be hunting your hatinas in so good luck getting your hatinas and let me know in the comments if you do got one or if you happen to get one because i actually want one myself now if you want to go hunt curlia this also works with our fairy sandwich this is the same exact thing. You're gonna get a bunch of Curlia spawning over here by this part in Lavincia. Uh, so you just have to go in and out of the city at the south part of it and jump back on the gates to get these Curlias. Now, Curlia is gonna be really obvious because it's shiny, is going to have a little bit of a blue cap or the blue hair instead of the typical green one. So you'll be able to notice the shiny as soon as it does show up. You can also just walk down to look at them as well. You can also just uh, explore on the beach. They do spawn in these areas. So this is how you're gonna be hunting Curlia earlier from this location in Lavincia. Now, I also have another one for you guys. The next location that we're going to be hunting Curlias are going to be in Porto Marinada. And as soon as you come over here, you're going to be heading over to what I like to call the lighthouse. So head over there. And if you did watch our last video, the electric one, you will know that there is a nice little secret spot here to despawn and respawn these Pokemon out nonstop. We did this for Rotoms, by the way. So you should definitely check out that video. When you come over here, you'll be getting some some curly is spawning around you so you can see one two three four five you got six over there and you're just looking for that blue cap if you don't see the blue cap you can just simply walk over here and this is a lot faster by the way and then pop over here and you'll get completely new spawns and you really don't have to leave the spot you're at you can zoom out all the way when you're doing this hunt just look around if you don't see the blue cap just come back and respawn i think this is a lot more better than lavincia because lavincia you gotta keep hopping in and out and i think that's a little bit annoying so doing this 
this is way better than the Lavincia one. But I'm giving you both options just in case, you know, some of you might be comfortable with that location and some might not. And uh, you guys should be getting your Curlias really fast here. Remember, if it is a male Curlia and you give it a Dawnstone, you'll be able to evolve it quickly into a Gallade. Otherwise, you'll be getting a Gardevoir if you don't use that Dawnstone. So just keep that in mind when you are shiny hunting Curlia. All right, gamers, this is going to be the cave where we we talked about Sableyes here, by the way, in our dark video. This is going to be over here in the West Province area too. This is the cave right over here. I, I literally just came here to start this recording and you can see I already bumped into a shiny Metatite right on camera. So this is going to be our first one in the video. So let me just go ahead and save. So yeah, this is going to be the cave right north of Asado Desert and right by Castle Royal Lake. You can see it. It has exits over here. Anyway, so you're just going to walk around and you're going to notice everywhere you go, a bunch of metatites everywhere just they're just gonna be here it's the only pokemon that spawns and the shiny is obviously going to be super obvious to you when you see it it's just going to be a red color so you shouldn't be having a hard time and what i like to do here is just simply you know take my time walk around just loop in this little circle here over and over again until i happen to see a shiny or just get lucky and uh, be a youtuber and start recording and you <laughs> that's the other cheat it's a it's a youtube video luck of when you get a shiny but yeah that's pretty much how you're going to do it when you come to this area and that's where you're going to get your metatites in the overworld with no problem and nothing else interfering with that hunt if you go to the asado desert watchtower which is basically the center or just the asado desert in general you'll notice that with the psychic sandwich you'll be getting a bunch of flittles just spawning around everywhere you go and that makes this a very nice hunt because it's completely soloed out and isolated from the other hunts now when you're looking at it shiny you're going to look for a little green green tassel making it very obvious and if for some reason its evolution does happen to show up as a shiny it will be completely brown you could do simple tricks like the picnic reset and for those wondering what a picnic reset is it's simply just opening up your picnic and then as soon as you have your pokemon out you quickly pack up and go spam that that goes away and that'll cause all these new spawns to start showing up around you and sometimes you, you'll believe it or not you can get a shiny uh, it happens it does take a little bit more button mashing but that's up to you and for those who want to do the hunt entire despawn trick you just see a bunch of them until you are able to despawn that group out and once you do that you can just make sure to pan around so the ones that you just spawned in make sure they're not shiny and then head back to that exact spot now, if you're not a fan of any of those methods of picnic resetting and uh, despawning, well, you could just do the town reset method, which is going to be really nice. So just place yourselves right by Cascarafa and just walk right here and everything's going to despawn. Boom. And then as soon as you step back out, you're going to get a whole new group of these Pokemon showing up in front of you. And like I said, you just have to be paying attention to spotting the little green one on it. And since they're all pink, it's going to be really obvious to tell, especially when they all spawn like this. So just be on the lookout do your town resets like that quickly just pop in pop out and then come back out it's it's really fun and simple and you should be able to get yourself a flittle very very fast using the asado desert so if you want to hunt the families of Spoink and our lovely Grumpigs, this is a very, very good spot. It's going to be located pretty much around this area. So go to the Glaciato Mountain Watchtower and you're going to just run up and down. Now, the reason we're going to be running up and down is because they are family spawns, which means you will never miss a shiny because they will always be in families, which makes this hunt very easy and accessible. So what you what I like to do is just run up and down this area. I see a bunch of families. You want to just don't go over there. And then once you're done, just turn around and keep going. These Pokemon spawn in a lot of areas where other psychic Pokemon are. So it can get a little confusing to hunt others, but this is a very good way to completely isolate them and separate them out from the other ones and solo them out. So this is a great solo hunting spot. You just got to keep running by the families nonstop over and over again. So this is what I like to do uh, when I am hunting Grumpigs, but I'm sure you'll get them somewhere else. But if you just want this only, you can run fast go back and forth it's pretty simple actually look at that it's just clean it's just non-stop you've only seen that pokemon show up very nice and i yeah just keep going i run back to that watchtower and then i run back oh so let's just show you the whole pathway uh <laughs> there's a watchtower actually you could go a little further beyond just the watchtower by running down here there's another two families here and then we can head down here and uh yeah that's pretty much your pathway and just loop that over and over again until you get your shiny grumpigs and spoinks all right, if you head over to 
the North Province Area 1 Watchtower or decide to go to North Province Area 1. This whole entire section is where we're going to be going to hunt down Pokemon known as Ndidi. Now, Ndidi has a male version and a female version. And if you're one of those shiny completionists that just have to get every single version, this is the spot that you're going to have to do this. Now, while you're here <laughs> looking for these Ndidis, you're going to notice you're going to get a lot of Espartas also showing up in the area. Luckily, we covered the solo spot with the Flittles. And we're also going to be having our Grumpigs and Spoinks showing up as families. Uh, so there is a possibility of that being a shiny here, but we covered a solo location for this. I'm having a little bit of difficulty finding the best Ndidi spot where just by itself solo because everywhere I find Ndidi's, I find something else. But you're going to be primarily focusing on Ndidi's. If not, you could just hunt all these Pokemon here. But if you're an Ndidi hunter, this is what you're going to be doing. And what you're going to be identifying is a blue color on this Pokemon. So you could just walk around this area, constantly just explore, spawn and despawn things out by walking away and coming back. I suggest just keep moving forward because there are other Pokemon spawns here. And the best way to keep hunting this Pokemon is just keep moving. Don't go fast because the Ndidi's do not spawn as a family. And because they don't spawn as a family, they will be able to despawn out pretty quick. So just take your time as you're hunting it. And if you do happen to get a shiny, then congratulations. But this is the spot where they will be showing up. Uh, so let me go back out here. Then you're going to see how annoying these Spoinks are and these other Pokemon. But here's your Ndidi's. So keep your eye on the prize as you're hunting down your Ndidi's. And eventually you will be getting a nice blue one that does show up. And you can add those two Pokemon to your shiny collection. If you want to do a solo drowsy hunt, I suggest the ruins right in the first area. South Province, Area 1. These ruins over here. This is going to be a good spot to look for your drowsies. Now it's going to be super simple because all you got to do is just back away from them. Despawn them out completely. So you can figure out however you want. You can jump off the hill until they all like despawn like that and come back and then run right back in. Ooh, 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 that, there we go. Then run right back in and see if you're going to get a pink shiny. That is pretty much the simplest way I can explain for you to get a drowsy. Again, the Pokemon that spawn in the ruins are either going to be Bronzors, Bronzongs, Drowsies, or Hypnos. And this one is a really good one for just soloing out Drowsies, which you can eventually evolve into a Hypno. So just despawn these guys out completely like that and then run up into the area again. When you see pink, you know you have won the shiny hunt and you can snag yourself a nice drowsy that eventually can evolve into a hypno. So if you go further up the mountain in Alfernada, pretty much by the ruins, it's going to end up becoming almost a dual hunt in the ruin area, specifically with bronzongs and with your hypnos. Now, bronzongs, you're going to be looking for a much more green one and hypno, you're going to be looking for a pink shiny Pokemon as displayed here on the screen. And to hunt these guys, it's pretty simple. I mean, all you got to do is just simply walk away from them. Let them all despawn right like that and then come back up and then respawn them back in. And that's pretty much how you're going to be pulling off the dual hunt in these ruins. Because as soon as you get back to the ruins, you just wait a second over here. They do all start to spawn again. What another trick you could also do is the picnic reset, which we've already mentioned. And just throw a picnic up close by to this area. Let the picnic uh, take care of all the despawns and respawns of these Pokemon. So let's see if I can pull it off right outside the ruins. Put your Pokemon away and they all start to spawn back again as you walk back in. So that's another way of doing it. It's not as ideal, but it is a good way to hunt ruin Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure you can apply this almost to every single ruin that you head to in the game that are going to also have other Pokemon. So yep, yeah, that's pretty much how to hunt Hypnos and Bronzongs. So to eliminate two Pokemon from the water video, we luckily have a Bruxfish, a Bruxish, and a Veluza in this game. And we're going to be heading over to the Porto Marinanda to do these hunts. Now, it's going to be fun because it's a simple town reset. And I know these Pokemon are pretty aggressive and especially if it loses. So what you want to do is pretty much hit Porto Marinanda and then come back out. And when it's back to the West Paldean Sea, you're going to be paying attention very closely to the fish around you. Now, the is going to be having these green spikes. So if you don't see green spikes, it's not as shiny. Also, Bruxish is going to have a red, yellow, and green palette as opposed to its purple palette, which you can see that is a purple Bruxish in the distance. So you're going to be using the home button, the double home trick that you can go into your actual settings on your switch, enable the home for this so you can do the double zoom in. That way you don't have to just zoom in everywhere by running up to them because fish are a very annoying Pokemon to hunt in this game. So that's basically what you're going to be doing to see if they are shinies or not. Because the moment, see, see how that Veluza, oof, you see how annoying that is? That That is an annoying fish. You don't want to deal with that. So yeah, you can keep despawning, respawning, paying, paying attention to what you see until you finally get your shiny fish over here. And I 
I know it's going to be good riddance to these Veluzas because they keep coming at you. So good luck doing this hunt over here. Now, if you want to solo hunt Bruxish, this is a really good spot. It's going to be a little bit further out from the South Province Area 5, the Swamp Area, come down on this island. And when you're on this island, you're going to be walking out into the water. Now, the cool thing is when you look for this fish specifically, you can look at all the little tips that show up on the fish. And if they are purple, that means it is not a shiny Pokemon. The moment you see a green tip stick out the water when you see them, you have found the shiny. Congratulations. But until then, you can simply just walk back right to the beach, despawn everything out in front of you, and then head right back out towards them again. And you can repeat this pretty easily to get the shiny Pokemon that you want. So just rinse and repeat, and you'll be able to get a Bruxish pretty fast in the game. Even though I know a lot of people don't want this fish. I don't like this fish. But we want to get the shiny just to get the shiny. Now, if you just want to go for solo Veluza without other things really bothering you, as much this is going to be wow they're these guys just want to get you they're even coming on land this is going to be your spot it's going to be located all the way up north by Socorat Cho. and if you unlock the gracia stones area uh to, as a fast travel this will be the spot where you'll be going to now this little rocky area is going to be nice because you can spawn in veluza and despawn them out the only thing that you might be facing a problem is with the pokemon on the rocks but that shouldn't be too bad so if you want to despawn out a whole entire group of Veluza, you simply just have to travel this beach. Not too fast, just a little bit of uh, of speed here, just to get enough to spawn in the water side. You can start seeing them spawn on the right of me. There they are. Uh, just make sure that you're not in their direct line of sight. You can easily dodge them because you're not in the water. And you can keep going back and forth here until you spot your shiny one with the green fins. Yeah, it's pretty much it. You're just going to go back and forth on this area. That's it. Then the, all those will despawn as they move to the right. And I'm going to see new spawns over here on this side. And they'll all start to spawn and you can keep rinsing this and repeating this over and over again until you get your green veluza you don't have to do a mass outbreak you don't have to worry about bumping into these and being really annoyed because these are one of the most annoying pokemon that you're going to deal with in this game so good luck getting your shiny veluza solo hunt in this location all right this next hunt is going to be probably one of the hardest ones for a lot of people it's going to be for slow poke and uh slow bro luckily slow bro is going to look a little different but slow poke Literally, it's just a lighter pink color, and you're just gonna have to run around this area until you do happen to notice they, <laughs> that there is going to be a slowpoke, and just keep exploring the Castle Royal Lake. Look around, see if you can spot something that looks lighter. You'll see the slow bro if it happens to be a family spawn. So if you're just concerned about family spawns only, you can run. If not, just you have to walk slow and you got to explore this whole entire area. Just walk around and you can also choose to go in the water. But yeah, this is this is definitely not going to be an easy hunt. If you if anyone has any clues on how to identify a slow poke from the other Pokemon, please let us know, because I think this is probably going to be one of the hardest hunts for people in this game and the best way you could do this is just you know walk back and forth you can choose to go in the water just cast a royal lake is going to be your spot to do this in hopefully your slow poke is not a solo spawn in the wild but spawns in a group so that at least you can tell the difference between the shades of the pokemon so good luck getting your slow poke and if you do want a slow king you're gonna have to go and buy a king's rock from the Delhi Bird Marketplace in Mesa Goza. Attach the King's Rock and trade it so you can get a shiny Slow King. But that's the way you're going to get a shiny Slow King in the game. Slow Bro is just going to be right there and uh, it'll evolve in the game. But yeah, good luck <laughs> with your hunt when it comes to the Slow Pokes. If you are a Pokemon Scarlet player and you come over to the... Wow, that is a lot of monkey. If we... North Province Area 2, the Bamboo Forest, this is going to be where you're going to be hunting for your Oranguru. And Oranguru is a really cool Pokemon that is good for doubles battles because it knows a trick called instruct which basically allows your pokemon to do its exact same move again so example if you did a swords dance and you have an orangaroo telling your pokemon to do a swords dance it will do it again like so you'll double swords dance for free anyway while you're here you're gonna be looking for a pink monkey that's it's that's it just look for a pink monkey you get pink monkey you get the shiny so you see all these with their white coats you're gonna look for the pink one and the best way to respawn them all out or despawn them is either picnic reset or 
before you just kind of zone them all out until they despawn and then walk back. I noticed there was a lot. There seems to be a lot of spawns by that waterfall, a lot by that Pokemon Center. So maybe you can refresh your spawns in these falls or over by the Pokemon Center. Anyway, this is pretty much how you're going to get Oranguru if you are a Pokemon Scarlet player. Hopefully you're really nice to your Violet player friends and get them an extra one while you're here. Or when you go into multiplayer session, you guys can share a sandwich and you can help spawn a bunch more for, for them and, and catch them. Uh, that's pretty much Oranguru. In Area Zero, Research Station number four. This is where you're going to be popping out from right over here. You're going to hop over this spot just like this and head over to our favorite new spot that we've added in the videos, the Special Rock. And when you're on that rock and you've enabled the Psychic Sandwich, we're going to be getting kind of a little bit of a mix here. Not too crazy, though, but you're going to get your Espartas and you're going to get your Screamtails. Now, this is actually probably an easy dual hunt spot because you can see how many of these things are literally spawning on here. Now, with the Spartas, you can just look for a brown color. And for the Screamtails, you're going to be looking for the red eyes and the purple tail. That's it. So this is a very good dual hunting spot, mostly for Screamtail, but Espartas are here. Now, this is going to be specifically for you Pokemon Scarlet players. If you're playing Violet, though, and you pop your Psychic Sandwich, you're going to probably be just getting Espartas. So that's going to make an Esparta hunt a lot easier in Violet. So just keep despawning and respawning them over and over again until you get your shiny and that is how you're going to be hunting screamtail down here now you know some amazing shiny hunting locations for psychic pokemon but do you know about these locations for these pokemon click on this video and check it out